In today's Parents in Action, we are talking summer camps. The kids will be out of school in just a few short months, and summer camps around the Bay Area do fill up quickly, so you want to make sure that you secure your spot as fast as you can. Tampa Bay Parenting Magazine editor Angela Artelino is here now with some advice to help you find the best camp for your child. It's always good to see you. You too. You know, there are a lot of options for camps, so as a parent, how do you narrow down the best ones? Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to look at your kid and find out what they may be interested in. If they're running them around the house singing into a, a hairbrush, they may like <laughs> to go into a performing arts camp. Or if they're always taking things apart, maybe they'd like to go to a camp for inventors. So there's so many differences, so many choices here in Tampa Bay for summer camps that you want to first sit down, sit down with your child, see what they may be interested in learning or doing during the summer, and watch what they're doing and what they may be interested in. Do they love animals? Do they love doing gymnastics? You know, there's a camp that fits each of their needs. So that's the first thing you want to do. Find out what you think they may need during the summer. Maybe they need to make more friends. Maybe they need to get fit and, and learn exercise or find a new hobby and then sit down with your kids and find out what they may be interested in. Once you do that, then you should have a list of, okay, we may be interested in a performing arts camp or a gymnastics camp, and then you want to start your research. Good thing is, is that we've done the research for you. So if you pick up any of the Tampa Bay Parenting magazines, we have a full list of camps that we've looked at that we love and that we think parents here in Tampa Bay would like. We also do a summer camp event on April 6th where we invite all kinds of summer camps to come out. So if you're not sure, it's a great place to come tour. It's on April 6th at the Straz Center, and you get to meet a bunch of camps face-to-face and talk about their programs and then a lot of times they have counselors there where your kids can go right up to them and talk to them maybe try out some of the activities or meet some of the animals it depends what kind of type of camp you're looking at fantastic one-stop shopping uh, also as a parent you say it's really important to do your research because you want to make sure that the camp counselors are thoroughly trained and they've had background checks so what are some of the other things that you need to look out for as a parent you do a lot of people who put on summer camps actually have programs going on during the year so you can always visit the facility look at it make sure it's clean make sure it's safe Safe, ask them what they do for first aid. Is there someone on staff who knows CPR? And most importantly, you want to know what their ratio of teachers to kids are. So you, you don't want to go more than one to ten, meaning one teacher for every ten kids. So these are the types of questions that you want to ask the counselors. And you really want to trust that mom gut feeling and go in there and see if it's something that you get a good feeling about. And when you talk to the director and to the counselors, do you get a good feeling about it? Are they professionals? Is this something that they've done all year long and that they work with kids. That's the most important thing is that they're great with kids. If they're great with kids, then the kids will learn and have a good time. And finally, you say be flexible because we did mention that these camps do fill up quickly and so you may have to adjust and maybe have another one in your back pocket. It, you do. It's, it's kind of hard. You kind of look, got to look at your dates and then you need to contact them all because, yeah, some fill up, some only last two weeks, but you've got a good 10 weeks in that summer and, and give them some variety, maybe a swimming camp and then try a performing arts camp and then try something and maybe an active camp something completely different and yes be ready in case some some sessions fill up you may have to change your session okay. or your vacation yeah that's for sure <laughs> now you talked about a lot of different camps you talked about the swimming camp the gymnastics the dance camps next week you're going to be back with us and you'll talk about all the different kinds of camps the difference in the benefits yeah, of each exactly can't wait to hear that one <laughs> okay if you missed her points today and you want to share them with another parent just go to abcactionnews.com you can also find help with a variety of parenting issues at tampabayparenting.com and while you're there sign up for a subscription to Tampa Bay Parenting Magazine.